As the 3D printing market continues to grow at an exponential pace, the rate at which an object can be printed is also speeding up. A company in China called the Yingchuang Factory and Research Center has shown off a demonstration project where 10 houses were built within the space of 24 hours. This is an example of just how fast the 3D printing market is producing faster 3D printers that double the rate of items that they print every 24 months. In order to build the building, the 3D printer had to rely on recycled building materials to create the houses, part by part at a building factory. After each part dried, it was transported to the construction site, where the parts of the houses were assembled into place. Each of the buildings cost around $5,000 to build, a fraction of the cost of a normal construction building. Ma Yi, the president of the company, plans to build over a 100 of the 3D printing factories for building houses, using only recycled materials and would like to even create entire skyscrapers using rubble from demolished buildings. This technology builds upon similar work done by the University of Southern California called Contour Crafting, which utilizes an industrial size 3D printer to build 3D printed houses within 24 hours. This method is different, however, as the Chinese method involves using separate 3D printed parts, which are then merged together in the final product while contour crafting involves printing entire houses as a whole singular part. As the technology continues to evolve, it will have massive effects on the construction industry, as the price needed to build a building will fall dramatically. Third world countries with poor residents, or even homeless, would be able to afford a cheap 3D printed house. Looking even further out, it is even possible that an entire skyscraper could be built using 3D printed parts. Sky City a Chinese building proposed in China is a similar project which aims to build an entire 838 meter building using prefabricated parts within less than a year. So what do you think of the 3D printer capable of mass producing houses cheaply? Do you think the industry has a chance of constructing skyscrapers? Leave a comment below with your thoughts.